Oh, uh, welcome back to Small Town Big Ideas. I'm your host this week, Rylan Mouse, and apparently we got a pig in the vicinity, fellas. A what? <laughs> <laughs> you see, possibly. I heard a. Oh. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? I don't know. Just heard it. Anyways, so we're moving on to this week's this week's batch of misfits. <gasps> we got. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Shots fired. Okay. Psh, psh, psh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. First, we got up. Mr. Harper, how's your week been? It's been a rough week. Rough week? Yeah. School tomorrow on Friday. I'm not used to Ooh. that. So. Okay. Next up, Mr. Igo. <laughs> Mr. Igo, what's, what's, what's been happening? Uh, we have school tomorrow. Boo. <laughs> uh, we had district leadership school for FFA yesterday. Oh, that was right. good. First FFA event of the year. That was exciting. That was always exciting. How many kids? Uh, 120? 120? Was there really that many? I don't let think me re- there was actually let me that clarify. many. How many kids from Weibo? So we ended up taking, it was either 10 32? or 12. No, 11. 11. <laughs> I remember counting. Oh, 11. Cool. So I, I think it was 11 kids that we took. And I, only, I had 15 signed up and only four backed out yesterday because of crazy reasons. So pretty, pretty good. That's, 11 is like one third of our school. Yeah. It's a, honestly, school. a pretty big number. So I was happy with it. Mr. Johns, what's been happening? Uh, I met the governor of Montana today. Hey, Ooh. same. <laughs> yeah. What a coincidence. Yeah. I saw you there. Yeah. Annika, I saw you there too. Mm. Yep. Did you ask any questions? <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah, what'd you learn? What? <laughs> what did you learn? Uh, I don't know. Stuff, I guess. His name is Greg. Yes. It's not Forte. Oh, he's from Valley Jim. Forge. Which Pennsylvania. Is, oh, damn, damn. Sorry. Revolutionary War. Yeah. My dad's a history yeah. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All righty. <laughs> so was he, it was, so is that, was that like a joke or did you actually meet? We act. Rylan, I will show you a picture. <laughs> yeah, no. My dad, yeah, yeah, he was here, here today. Great po- uh, uh, he was in the same me. building as you, but you weren't aware. Oh. That's well, because he wasn't invited. Neither was I. <laughs> hey. You weren't invited hey. for good reason. That is our, that is our governor. Holy, I've never seen Annika cheese that hard. I was oh, not cheesing that Greg hard. Greg Gianforte, number one fan. Her hero. Yep. No. <laughs> so we I, can... We can move on. All right. Cause... Yeah. What's one of these questions? Are you going to introduce Annika? Oh, yeah. I'm Annika, everybody, as you know. Yeah, she's a she's a returner. She also Just... met Gene Forte today. Yes, I did. I also have to go to school tomorrow. I also... Ooh. Okay. And I'm Rylan. I'm glad you looked at me because I really forgot to do that. How's your week been? My week has been quite interesting. Oh. Quite silent. Interesting? And silent. Interesting and silence. I've been at, I've been meditating and finding Zen during class oh, because I'm shit. sleeping during Mr. John's class. You have it twice a day, so that makes sense. You do sleep a lot. I had a three. I had a three. I had three times this today. So, so today I've got <laughs> questions for you guys for all of you because I ran out of time. Anyways, if you could have coffee. With any historical figure, who would you choose? Greg Gianforte. <laughs> <laughs> Living or dead? Can be whoever you want to have coffee I, when with. When you say historical, don't you think like... Rosa Parks. Beyonce. Beyonce. They're dead. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, I t- typically When do. I think historical, I think like yeah. they gone. Hmm. Historical in any facet? like Historical being well-known. Like... George Washington. Or I was going to say him. John Wooden would be mine. I was going to say, I actually would want to sit down and have John coffee with Wooden Arnold Palmer. Awesome. He's the guy. He, <laughs> he's the all time winning. Oh, he'd that. be good too. Arnold Palmer would be awesome, dude. That guy like See, changed he, the game of golf. Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's also a drink named after him. <laughs> yeah, legendary. How yeah. cool is that? that you I, I have a gallon <laughs> just in my fridge. I drink it. Is your dream one day, Ryland, to have a drink called the Ryland Mouse? No. Mm, uh, uh, mm. It'd be like a mixture of Netflix Walking Dead with water. No, it'd be a mix of w- The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead and also The Walking Dead Fear World Beyond. But anyways, so... Nerd. Never reaching popularity. <laughs> uh, where's that cricket button? <laughs> Can we can, you, can we all can we all get like the answer? Mine's can, John Wood. John I answered Wood? Arnold Palmer. Well, um, I'm just he 
Pisces to uh, an Are we answer. elaborating on it, or is that just... Even? No, you can just... You can leave it at that, or you can go further <laughs> into the topic. It's up to you. If you should go further into... John Wooden. Oh, as John Wooden was the answer. most winning college basketball coach of all time for a long. He doesn't have the most wins anymore, but he has the most championships. Why do you think that is? Why do I think he got the most championships? Yeah, like what made him so good? I don't know. He was able to recruit people and motivate them in like crazy ways. College basketball, it's it's different than high school basketball in terms of just. Uh, thank you, Annika. No, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys knew that I was a child when I was growing up. Uh, oh. And you can stop at any time. <laughs> no, that's right. Um, I don't know. But he was able to like recruit people from all over the nation to come to UCLA and perform at a high level for thirty years. That's incredible. I'm One pretty positive. What you just said is on a previous podcast. Oh, that's on the first podcast ever. I think yeah. that we did when we talked about. Like uh, leaders or something. Yeah. Uh, John Wood's one of my favorite historical figures of all time. That was that. That's a good uh, island. Who would you have coffee with? Uh, I would have coffee with. Hmm. I'd just go with hmm. Abe Lincoln. Oh, why? Because he was he had a beard <laughs> and a top hat. <laughs> exactly. All right, I finally got my answer. Mom Dolly. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because a, it'd be entertaining, and he's just the greatest boxer of all time. But why would it be so entertaining? But like, are you into have boxing? You, not me. Yeah. No, but have you just seen videos of the guy? Well, yeah, I've seen, seen videos of like, him drinking just coffee, him talking on like talk yeah, shows yeah, and stuff. Pretty... Entertaining. Mm. It's people's mm. champ. Mm. People's champ. What do you think the world? Would hey, look... Wait, Annika. What? Who is your person? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, either owl? George Washington or Sacagawea. Oh, Sacagawea would not be good. That's a good one. Why? Because <laughs> she was like one of the first people over here. What about know? George Washington? Well, she wasn't the first person, but like she helped them Americans find over like, here. Get the maps and yep. stuff. And... Is your dad a history teacher? <laughs> yep. No. Are you? <laughs> nope. Are you going to be? <laughs> nope. <laughs> So, ah, that's a good answer. That's good. Cool. That, uh, it was pretty good. So, another question: What do you think the world will look like in five years? About the same as today. <laughs> Maybe a little more round. Are a little you... flatter, you mean? It's... Oh, it is oh. already flat. Flat Earth. Oh, I I see. <laughs> 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 so, Mister Harper. In terms of like what technology or like. Politics. What do you what do you think Take it into your own hands. Yes, what do you what do you think like do you think that any major technologies will be developed or do you think like uh, something crazy will happen? I Volcanoes mean, will explode simultaneously all over the place. I think lots think? of technology will be developed, but one that I'm kind of looking forward to and it's a crazy thing is uh, those contact lenses that have like the smartphone capabilities basically. If you guys watch Black what? Mirror, it's you wear contacts like they've already got them, and there are contacts that you put on, and they have this like graphical overlay. How do you control it. Everybody wearing contacts oh, already ha- has a hard enough I, time seeing. I don't know how they control it, but Morse code. You it, blink. You remember a certain when they had, like kind of pushed like the Google glasses? Google glass, oh. yeah. yeah, it's basically like that. that. Yeah. Um, there's going to be like a lot of battery technology and like processor technology for. Take. So do you? Ah, would nice. you take it out and then it, you'd put it in a, your contact case uh, and charge it? Charge? I, don't I don't wear yeah. contacts, like so Air, like it won't matter to me. But um, watch Black Mirror if you ever watch the show yeah. Black Mirror on Netflix. Yeah. Like that's the world that we're I about to live in. I think it's going to be yeah, crazy in the next five years, technology wise, because like, well, Mister Igo can speak to it, but like Starlink is that what it is? Starlink, internet. like Starlink internet is already becoming more and more popular in the next five years. Like I think you're going kinda... to have internet capabilities everywhere. It's going to get wild. <laughs> I can't let you do that, Dave. <laughs> no one knows what we're talking about. It's okay. No. That's where computers take over the world. Yeah. Uh, you said it looked the same, or do you want to change your answer? Well, same with a few exceptions. A, a few but exceptions being? For the most part, I think it'll be. Like I mean. Annika won't be at Weeble County High School. Yeah. Like, I years. won't be here. Yeah. I'll be, but I'll still hopefully be here. Oh, <laughs> cool. Cool. That's, that's deep. Whoa. Yeah. So, <laughs> Mr. Johns. Yes. I can see that you have an answer to the question. Yeah. I, I think there's going to be like 
some volcanoes erupting, some uh, <laughs> robot horses that we're going to ride around on instead of four wheelers and horses. It's just going to be a combination yeah, of the I'm two. Take my robot yeah, horse. Yeah, to the <laughs> new town road. <laughs> Because we're going to have new roads specifically for that. Please stop. And we're just going to have a bunch of Maglev trains, too. Um, oh, we're supposed to get a train in Montana in the next five years, too, maybe. Yeah, I actually would love to see a rail system. It's never going to happen. It it's won't be, happen. but it'd be the coolest. Mr. Awesome. Forte. <laughs> if you're listening. Oh, someone should ask Gene Forte about that, trains. about that commuter train. Can we get trains yet, please? I think space travel is going to be even, Me too. That like, commercial space say. travel is going to be a big one. In five what? years, though, yeah, oh, yeah, they've already they're already really? starting. Well, yeah, but Bezos like a and who big is the other thing. One? Gene Forte is next. Do you, I, like I how big? So. Like it's not like all of us are going to be in space well. travel, but in five years you will see like it'll be a common occurrence. <laughs> it'll be like the people that are going on those like Cape Air yachts. No, right? Like, like instead of going to a yacht, you're going to go to space. The person that yeah. charters a week a yacht for. Five million dollars. They're going to go to space for a week. So yeah. you'd have a movie theater and a rocket ship. No, like I just think it's it's going to be something that people are just like, look what I did. It's just to like look, look, at, look at the it's money for I rich have. People, yeah. yeah. Look at space not for me. All right. Minutes, take pictures and get back to Earth and post them on Insta, Facebook, Insta. I mean, they're already a combined company, so why would they? Insta, Face, Insta, Twitter, Twitter book, around. Insta, tweet. So, anyways, what's your next question? <laughs> okay, if you could write a book. I can't. What would you? What would you write the book about? Annika loves books, so this is the best question. Um, for her. Uh, you know, I probably wouldn't write a book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no. Nope. I'd probably write a book about how when I was growing up, I was the fastest <laughs> <laughs> speed stacker <laughs> in Central oh. Texas. And everyone would read that book. I who doesn't best selling in the New York Times about ten year old little Distrago stacking cups three six three up into the twelve back. I don't (laughs) with pictures though. Ooh, (laughs) Hmm. I think I'd have to write a book about a group of teenagers that kind of from all different walks of life, and they got detention on a Saturday. Oh my god! <laughs> What's the ending look like? Uh a guy fist pumps into the air. It'll be a terrible book, Is but like for some reason people keep. Re- oh. Yeah, <laughs> but people will buy it. Yeah, I'm going to take my <laughs> new horse, robot horse. What would you write a book about? <laughs> he can't decide this. whether to be serious or make a joke. No, hundred percent. There's this kid in Central Texas, like fifteen, <laughs> twenty years ago. <laughs> What a legend. That ended up with detention on Friday. I never had detention. on. I actually had Saturday school. I wasn't talking about you. (laughs) (laughs) I think I would write a book about a group of teenagers that went around and solved mysteries for a living. Like Scooby-Doo? No. But teenagers. Like young Scooby-Doo? No, I was actually trying to Stranger drive, Things. Like, I was trying to make a joke like gonna drive it was the Scooby Enigma. It's, what's a different word for machine? Enigma. Enigma mobile. Processor. <laughs> Enigma processor. <laughs> not the mystery machine. Just different enough so that you don't get sued for copyright. <laughs> so. Well, we're not answering that question seriously. Like, if you had to write a book about anything, like, what's your knowledge? Like, could you write a book? Not there. Even if it was 100 pages, is there something you could write about? Uh, <laughs> I think I could write one on uh, Montana Rodeo. Oh, I, I think okay. I good. could write one. Do I want to? No. No, I got a better one. I could write a book on the Montana Prison Ranch. Oh, um, that's actually That one cool. people might actually read. <laughs> <laughs> what does Shepard have? Nothing. Yeah. Don't even have a restaurant. Dog. Sheep. No, oh, Shepherd doesn't have sheep. Oh my! Uh. What does a shepherd have? That's pretty good. Good for you. <laughs> You're funny. Though. I would write a book about like mental health in high school students and how it's changed in like the last twenty years. Hmm. If I'm being serious, that's where I would go. I'd probably write one on like the impact that land grant colleges have had on small rural communities and like how that's trickled down into FFA and agricultural education. That's probably what I'd write. Kinda I know like, that's boring, but kind of like your thesis. Yeah, basically like my 100-page master's He's thesis. like, so I've already wrote my 100-page <laughs> book. So please go read it. Uh, that was a lot of my life. 
And is there anything that you I feel like you really could... I really don't know. What's the thing you're most knowledgeable about? Sakakawea being the first person. I definitely like am not. The Valley most. Forge. No. Neither. I don't know. I actually... Uh, I'd have to agree Nothing? With- Literally nothing. Like, nothing that, that stands the out. About in the world? Nothing that just like interests you. Well, things interest me, but not write about it. enough to Class write a C book about. Schools in Eastern Montana. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. I think honestly, I don't know if I could write a book. See, I don't have like. You guys are adults, man. You got more life. Ex- you got that. You're like in your. You're in your 30s. I literally have <laughs> 10 years on this <laughs> all. But it's I, not even that much, is it? But I, I don't, don't think so. But on, seriously, I don't know if I've experienced something to write a book about. See? You don't think just, you've experienced enough in 16 years to write a book? No. No. Nope. I, I don't remember like half of those years. Same. The only thing I remember about my, my eighth my You're eight telling me you couldn't world. ramble about like zombies roaming the earth? I could, but it wouldn't be very exciting. We That's didn't ask if it was a bestseller. We asked, you asked if you could. There's lots of books that get drafted and created that no one reads. Yeah. <laughs> My thesis. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I just don't. I don't think like I. Of course, I could. I could write a book. I could write a book okay, about about zombies. But again, it would not be like. But we didn't ask if it was going to be popular. We were just saying, can you do it? Yes. Okay. This little go. zombie there goes go. to the market. To get one. To get one. <laughs> the next one, eat roast beef. What? <laughs> this roast beef. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, on the, on the same, on the... <laughs> You're going right so, up. so, if, if you could live anywhere, anywhere on this, on this earth, it could be, you could even be on the moon. Where would you live? Let's clarify that. Anywhere on this earth, but it can also be the moon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Clarifying. All right. So there's two options, actually. Yes. Okay. And then you can even live on Mars if you wanted to. Okay. So anywhere in the universe. Yeah. Huh. Like or permanently e- or just like live or, there for a year? Or like even yeah, out of this universe. So anywhere. If you could live anywhere. Different dimension? Different dimension. Hmm. I don't know how to answer this question. There's a lot to it. Um, I'd probably live either on the coast of like the Mediterranean or else up on the hillside in Italy. Why? Because I like it. <laughs> I don't know. What would you do if you lived in Italy? Would you just like eat food all the time? Yes. I don't know. I, I just want to Italy visit. So yeah. Find an Italy's Italian awesome. guy named like Giuseppe and Giuseppe? Mario. I don't know. What's it? What's another Italian name? Mario? <laughs> That's the only one. Giuseppe. <laughs> That's everyone in Luigi. Italy. Luigi. Luigi. Wario. <laughs> Wario. <laughs> <Warrior. laughs> Princess Peach? Is that I'm it? with you, Anna. I want to go to Italy. Yeah. I want to go to Italy. I don't know that I'd want to live there. I would... Oh, man, I'd really like to live on, like, the East Coast up on, like, the northern part somewhere where you could go to all the historical places in... Like Valley American Forge? History. Oh... <laughs> Uh, Boston and like all those cool old colonial towns and villages and things. I think that'd be really fun. Live in like one of those really nice Cape Cod houses or something. Can't. Here goes this oh. HGTV <laughs> stuff. That HGTV dream home. That's what I'd want to live in. I I'd I'd never, never actually. Do you really? Oh yeah. What? I don't actually ever like the houses that they make. Oh, they look ridiculous. But exactly. HGTV dream home. They have it's a contest like a, each year. Yeah, for, it's like a. Modern version of Pip My Ride, but it's just like my house. Like, it's the most unpractical. In this like, house, we put 16 windows, and 15 <laughs> of them are controlled by an app that we make that may not work a year from now. And if you can't use the app, you can't close your windows. Yeah, Here's you can, the keys. If you got 16 windows, and 15 of them are only controlled by the app, then you can still open and close one window. That's a fixed window in your bathroom. <laughs> Why do you have a window in your bathroom? You don't. No, a lot of people do. Yeah. You either have to have a window or a ba- uh, bathroom fan. You have to have best a code. Yeah. I have AC <laughs> in your bathroom. No, oh. but <laughs> to <laughs> to where I would I would I think I'd like to live in the like 
Around like a nice, like a forest, like a pinesy wood forest. So you want to move to a Canada? A pinesy. Canada. Pinesy. <laughs> pinesy. Uh, like pinesy. mountains Adjective. or flat? I think a bit of mountains in the back, just pinesy and mountainy. Picture. I would okay. live in the mountains. Canada. I could do that. Can- I should have said like Minnesota on a lake or something. Oh, That'd have been okay. Yeah, I'll be more realistic. Or Wisconsin. You know what Jeez. I always thought would be really cool? And it wouldn't be like permanently living there, but like. Being part of like a research team would be Antarctica. Because how many people have been to Antarctica? I've been seeing a lot of those videos on my TikTok lately. No, thank guys you. <laughs> yeah. In Antarctica. You're no. just down there. You're freezing your butt off. You're literally element. stuck in a building 99% of the time. Because it's too cold to go out. Yeah. I've been my work day at this building. <laughs> but I think it'd be so cool. How many people could say they could do- would have done I, it? If I got down there, though, all I would just be so nervous of like, the rest of the world, if it went to, if it just went to absolute heck, all of a sudden, like, I'm it. I'm down here. There's no way out. There's no way. I, I'm. I'd be nervous about that. Truly, just you'd be like, more is, nervous about the world, like the rest of the world, instead of like your instead generator of you just going being down. like, well, I think I'll survive if the generator quits. <laughs> you know how cool it'd be to see like penguins just like marching. And if in where you're games. researching, you're not seeing penguins. What if you fought? What if, what if we're researching penguins? Oh. <sighs> Penguins. Oh, oh, sign me up. Penguin research. <laughs> Let's go. Penguins are real stinky. Though. Well, yeah, if yeah, I was probably. down in the ice, I think I'd be more afraid of like something like the Tomorrow War happening, where you find like a bunch of aliens and then game on. Or like know. the thing. You guys ever seen the movie? Yeah, the thing? that's a no. Great that'd be a fun event. I'm not a scary movie guy, but I watched that I one when I was maybe like twelve terrified me because that's about the time that we moved to Montana from Texas had never seen ice just thought you're gonna freeze and I was like gonna this thing me. is gonna get me one of these days <laughs> I'm just gonna be outside making a snowball trying to throw it at my little brother's head <laughs> the thing's gonna he's gonna get the revenge that he wants but uh if we're not gonna do that the other place I would want to go like live live would be like art not Argentina that'd <laughs> the be, North Pole that'd be one of them yeah with Santa Claus um <laughs> but New Zealand <laughs> New Zealand is awesome. New Zealand would, would be really cool. There. I just want to go visit like where they film Lord of the Rings in New Zealand. Yeah, go to Mordor. Just yeah. simply walk in there. Yeah, just walk in straight through the gates. So anyways, right? <laughs> so, a bit of a uh, a downhill question, but what was what is your favorite subject in school? That one's hard for me. My favorite subject. I liked so I many favorite subjects. teachers more than that. Because I liked all my subjects pretty much. Mm. Well, but, teachers contribute to the subject. That's true. So, so you give me an example. What's yours, Riley? My favorite subject. Yeah, what's yours? Uh, well, I can tell you what it isn't. <laughs> Ask him what's his, Annika. Rylan, what's your favorite subject? What my favorite, uh, what is my favorite subject? Let's, let's, let's That's think. what I asked you. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping Mr. Harper would so, ask you to say so, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So what is my favorite subject? Um, I, <laughs> English? <laughs> Communications. Science. Just PE. It's PE. No, it's not. Is it really? Lunch. Lunch it's not a subject. Yeah, exactly. So PE. PE. It's boring, I know. But what's yours? When I was in school, probably English was one of my favorites because I had some really good... Said no guy ever. (laughs) Or kid ever. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, (laughs) Stay strong. I had really, really good English teachers my sophomore and junior year. And, like, they really... I don't know. They made me get... I've talked about this on the podcast, too. They made me get better at my English skills. Like, they rode my butt pretty hard about making me become a better writer because I have decent writing skills naturally. And then uh, they pushed me to be better. So I kind of like that. I had bad math teachers a couple years, so I really liked math, but I had a couple bad math teachers. And see, mine was Same. opposite. I had really good math teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that about you. I meant that like before <laughs> you. <laughs> but I, I, had, I had good math teachers, but not very good English teachers in high school. So like, I kind of... That English was my least favorite. My favorite was, I think, art. That's honestly. what I was going to say. Art was mine. I was really such like a. Yeah. He just 
chill out, yeah, draw, just and just, just like enjoy relax. Like, I did enjoy my photography class because yeah. you have to think different when you yeah. do art you do. classes. It like was you hard. engage a different part of your brain. Are that's, you guys doing art in English class? Right yeah, now? that's it's why actually I liked it. pretty nice. Yeah, it's like, I liked it because it challenged it. me in a way that other subjects did it not. Like you, it was. Yeah. Yeah, to be out of the box. And, right? like, being creative, like, ceramics was yeah. awesome. Oh, you just build ceramics some stuff. So that creative ceramics is stuff make, it goes to every other part of your life, too. If you have mm-hmm. to think creatively in art. It's just some problem solving. Yeah. I love great. art. Stuff. Actually, stuff. so. Come from math teacher. It's Mrs. Bartle's mm-hmm. class, but that, like, publishing one, uh-huh. I thought I was going to hate it because I was like, ugh, you know. Sure. Obvious reasons. But, actually, it's like. Well, so far, anyway, we've taken like a lot of pictures and yeah. things like that, and I actually, I just see Annika be bopping around school taking pictures. Yeah, she, I she have comes been. out of the blue today. Can I take a picture of your teeth? <laughs> what? That's what you guys had to do is picture. I had to take a picture of so three people's teeth. Ah, yeah, that was why. Yeah, top five weirdest question I've ever been asked. <laughs> what are the other? <laughs> yeah, yeah what's the other four? I can't say that on the podcast. So. I managed, get this, I managed to come up with a question all on my own without looking at my phone. So, if you could go back in time. And that's the, no. <laughs> it's just in there and then. No, if, if you could go back in time and stop one, one disaster from ever happening. Ooh, that's a good one. I really thought you were going to ask and have coffee with a historical figure. <laughs> Uh, the podcast on June sixteenth, right? <laughs> yeah, I probably. I can <laughs> so we're gonna labor that as a disaster. It was not a good one. I would run into the. I would run into the shop. Be like, stop. <laughs> Please <can't> drop <laughs> and roll. <laughs> Just do it tomorrow. Is it stop a disaster or stop any event? Disaster. Uh, any. Oh, any- that's a good point, Hitler. You just, you just like the birth yes. of it. <laughs> the whole thing. I like how his whole life is like, I'm the first yeah. one to ever have this idea, guys. <laughs> I'm so glad this question came up. <laughs> My name's Annika Lundy, Hitler. <laughs> so, no, I'm serious. How would you stop him? Would you like get him as a baby? Well, that was not part of the question. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I just or make her. him so, so he's a normal. You'd go, you go, you go, you go, you like, Or are you going to be like, uh, his art's not actually that yeah. bad. Let him in art. Go school. forward with grades and get him in art. <laughs> yeah. School. Well, no, I just change his personality and his how. <laughs> that Don't was answer that. his Don't question answer that. was not how. It's just what event would you change, right? So how would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's his question. That's now. a solid answer. That's a solid. Yeah. Answer. Well, a lot of well, people died, and that is That's yeah. true. I mean, yeah, like a lot. I would uh, probably. I don't know. I, one that comes to mind for me is like somehow making the depression not quite so bad and the Dust Bowl and all those events, but uh, so much innovation. And That's stuff what I was just going to say the, is like, like you could say like 9-11 or you could say like Pearl Harbor, right. but truthfully, like some of those events like changed who we are today because it, it like made you be defined like, our grandparents' generation. Yeah. Is the depression. Like the, yeah. That's, some of that's crazy. I would you change don't want it to happen, probably but. out of 9-11 how much uh, f- like of our freedoms we lost after that when it came to like data and some of the personal liberties that got kind of shut down after that like you used to be able to just walk into the airport hop on your plane like PSA stuff didn't exist in the way it does now and uh, there's a lot of that Patriot Act stuff that like if the government wants to find anything out about you they can't like I'm some of that stuff scares me but uh Stop 9-11 too, I guess. You know, things like that. Speaking of 9-11, it's coming up. Mm-hmm. It's, what would you change? What would I change? Uh, I don't know. That is... Mm, it's a really good question. It was. Almost like... Why a, don't you... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what would I... I don't know. There are a lot of... Come back, you got you 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 go ahead. And Come man. back to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah All right, yeah. Rylan, what would you change? <laughs> <laughs> All right, back at you. So, Mister uh, Johns, what would you change? Um, I really don't know because, like, like the butterfly effect. You know, you change one thing, it'll change another. Like, how do you know that? Like, time won't just 
inevitably come back on itself and like events are going to happen no matter what. That was way more lame. <laughs> Could have said like start talking about Titanic series and stuff. <laughs> you don't want the Titanic no, to happen. I don't ever want another got ship. The to cool happen. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I would stop Alexander Hamilton from getting shot in that duel. There, are you happy? <laughs> no. Alexander. And then be. we don't get the musical. Thank God. All right. Never watched that musical yet. Yeah. I would stop the Breakfast Club from ever becoming a <laughs> Suck real up. movie. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. And then I can write changes the book. her answer. She's going to make sure the <laughs> Breakfast Club happens. And it's now. a paradox. <laughs> Rylan, what would you change? What? Serious, Rylan. Well, um, yeah, serious question. Serious question? Um, Dinosaurs becoming extinct? No. I JFK would, assassination. If I, if I walked outside of my house and I saw a Velociraptor, I would not go to school that day. Because you'd be chasing the raptors. That would be around. wild if I dinosaurs have a were genuine still alive. Okay. All right. So, like, the VP behind FDR... I'm trying to think of the guy who ended up taking over after him. Draw to Mike Truman. Yeah. So anyways, Truman wasn't his first vice president that he ever had. His first vice president was a more like air culturally based yeah. vice president. And so then there, the election at the uh, Democratic Convention like was this big, huge deal about the vice president. And so he ended up getting voted out as vice president at it. And so I'm just imagining, like, if you somehow, like, campaign better and, like, make sure that he got voted in, how different, like, relations during the Cold War would have been with Russia if he would have been in power instead of Truman. All those chains of events of different people being in office. Um, yeah. One that comes to my mind, maybe, I don't know. When I think about our small town of Weibo, like what event in history could you change that would have changed everything about how our small eastern Montana town looks the way it does now? When they created the state borders. That's true. Yeah. If, like if, truthfully, if instead of being like right nine next Nine miles to the west, we'd be in North Dakota. Right. Or, yeah, that's true. Like or, that sounds crazy, but literally like it affects us so much being right on the border instead of being... Those cattle drives from Texas up to Montana didn't happen the way that they did. Like Weibo, oh. Pierre Weibo would have never been the thing. Lewis and Clark. And that's the podcast. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm serious. You know, if Lewis and Clark weren't the first ones, we could be like France right now or you know true. that core discovery yeah. had never come through like Russia Sacagawea yeah. didn't help them they yeah. would have died we could still be and part. we would not we'd be Montana was part of Louisiana territory wasn't it mm-hmm. purchase like, Louisiana, Louisiana purchase, purchase. yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> it uh, became the Louisiana we territory still been, we could have been French still yeah. that's oh. why I said French can you imagine being French that was not on any you know of how big list. of a change that would have been though to Napoleon when he was like fighting his Napoleonic Wars over there because okay. then they wouldn't have had the funding from the Louisiana Purchase. Are you sure your dad's not a history teacher? <laughs> I just read and watch a lot of history. All right. I should have ended it on that history teacher comment. That was such a good one. <laughs> Rylan, <laughs> yes. what would you go back and change? I think if I could, I'd probably change racism from ever existing. Mm. All right, you can't end on that. <laughs> I was too late. Hit, hit the music. Not, I tried to end on something funny, and then we got it. <laughs> that. I, that that's a good goal, Rylan. <laughs> Cue it. Cue oh, it. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening to this to this uh, episode of Small Town Big Ideas. Uh, please come back next week. We'll probably have another episode up, and you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts where you can listen to podcasts. Thank you.